welcome back to all shops, great and small. Today we're going to head south on Route 14 and then 15 towards the city of Williamsport, world famous for Little League Baseball, and in the old days it was the lumber capital of the world. It certainly is a beautiful morning to head out on the road. I guess there's times when I just can't say enough about how beautiful this country is and how proud I am to be an American. The place north of, uh, northwest of Williamsport, the, the Crick Road, the Lycoming Crick Road it's called, uh, I started a business there 40 years ago and I was a motorcycle dealer there for 35 years. And I've, uh, I know most of the people on the Crick Road, uh, certainly the old timers. And um, the, the place that we're gonna go uh, is Chuck Roan and his father Chuck Roan I just talked to the other day is uh, going to be 88 lives in Florida but he's Mr. America in Lycoming County he always represented the Marine Corps and uh, it's a really good family uh, but I haven't seen young Chuck's race shop but he's been uh, He's been, he's been doing it for a long time, like uh, over 30 years, I saw an article. So we're gonna go visit his place, and uh, uh, it's I, important to note that the Crick Road kinda had a reputation as a used car lot road, and uh, it's, it's not where the high-end dealerships are. They're all down by the mall. But it'll be interesting to see what happens when the mall closes. There'll be five or six big, fancy, nice dealerships down by where the mall was. This is what I consider the beginning of Lycoming Creek Road, heading south. Uh, on the left is a uh, RV, Roan's RV, spelled different, R-H-O-N-E, but a, a real successful business. and. Uh, We've been dealing with their family for over 50 years. Good seeing you. Hi, Bob. It's been a long time, Chuck. Just as an example of, of the kind of guy Chuck is and how long that I've known him, this was all the stuff taken off his motorcycle oh to provide air suspension, adjustable front and rear, a hose to put air in the tires, and all this was when he was about 16 or 17. So I'm gonna present that to him as a gift for him letting me tour his shop. We're gonna get a tour here, and uh, I'm pretty anxious to see this uh, car. A nice shop he has in here. This is the clean room and the uh, probably climate control, I would think. Uh -huh. It's own heating unit, because yeah, it made everything for it. I recognize the cabinets as being from the auction down at Penn College, because I have a set myself. He's got quite a lineup of welders. Uh, this is where we brought gold wings uh, to, to do repairs on the aluminum frame. He had a real good welder here that uh, took care of that for Pull us. Pull that da a door down for us once, Chuck. That's, that's off the back of a Stroman's bread truck. Pretty ingenious. Oh, here's the room. There's the car. If you've never seen a dirt track car, you've missed real excitement. Uh, the simplicity of uh, the fuel pump down there with the power steering pump. Uh, this the, the, and the workmanship, the welds, it's uh, really a work of Interesting art. unit with a rotary engine, snowmobile drive on it. Handcrafted bicycle for his son with the peace sign. And as it's very convenient to have your house right behind your shop, I lived above my shop for four years. <laughs> kitchen going on here, he can build anything. That's quite a kitchen you built there, Chuck. Lots Real nice. We got the look of the wing here for the. That was the wife's idea. You get your... Beautiful. Chuck was telling me this is the the basically the way an automatic transmission works today, and his grandfather. This is all his workings. 
This is a car that Chuck built that uh, won the hill climb, Rose Valley hill climb one year. I love the uh, porch roof. Well, it's been real nice visiting with you, Chuck. It's been a while and you're obviously really into the race thing. And I think that it gets to be a part of you. You can't control. Oh, absolutely. It's a sickness. Well, we're going to let you go, Chuck, and get back to work. I see you got things to do. And I appreciate you taking the time. And when you see your father or the next time you talk to him, tell him I said hello. Oh, I will. And I'm sure it won't be long. I'm going to go to one of your races here. Whenever that comes up. Do you, do you go to Clinton at all? or? No, we're not on the schedule there this year. We're mostly in New York. Okay. And well, I like upstate New York, oh, yeah. so we'll see you up there. Okay. From beautiful north central Pennsylvania, God's country, all shops, great and small.